name is Pierre. Hello. I can't see you, but I believe you're there. I don't remember names very easily. I remember happenings. I remember colors and places and who was there, but names I don't know. So that, that's my fault. So what I do is I call everybody darling. Basically, what I'm trying to say is fashion is so interesting today that it is very difficult actually to dictate one look, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Everybody has their own individual look. And this, of course, is what we show all around America this year. Make love to your hair. And this is the way we sell mousse to our customer, the stylist, the stylist to the consumer. After all, when we work or go shopping, what we do first, we actually use our eyes to see what we want to buy. We use our nose to smell the product. Exactly like in the cosmetic market, when you buy perfume, you use your eyes, you use your nose. Don't ask the customer, would you like to buy a mousse? Because simply, if you go to a doctor, a professional person, they don't ask you, would you like an injection, sir, or would you like a tablet for your illness? You say, you need. I recommend to you, or I'm telling you. Actually, what I want to show me, Christine, here, is just a very commercial look, which is actually what is happening in the salon. And after all, this is where our satisfaction should stand, to satisfy the customer. And this is what we must teach. And you must stop being satisfying ourselves only. Thank you. Thank you. So first, I'd like to welcome Ms. Parker Washburn. Someone that was that very well accepted at the different conference rooms, uh, Maria Weyer. And Maria is from the Hairdressers Journal in England. Alexander. <laughs> You've done a lot of shows for Zotos and for you know different manufacturers over the years. What is your perspective, feeling of how you felt working with Zotos in the States? and some of the international. I felt that uh, the people conducted themselves in a very professional manner on the professional side. Um, I like their charisma. Uh, I like particularly their enthusiasm. And um, I like the goals which were set for targets for SOTUS. Great. What are some of your favorite products? I know you mentioned to some of the designers as Sandy and some of the other people, uh, how you appreciated the quality of the products, using them in your own salon and being on the platform with them. Uh, if you could just give us some comment on that. Well, I know I uh, am representing Bendeter, which of course I love the fragrance of Bendeter. Uh, the herbal ribbon gel is my favorite one because it works with my hair and I feel I can shape hair in wonderful ways. Uh, I've learned from John Frieda how to use the wax uh, much better than what I did before. So, you know, I learn every day something too. And I like the Ultra Bond wax very much indeed. I like the Ultra Bond uh, cement because that works for my hair because my hair is actually very, very curly. And I've confessed something. I put my luggage full with Ultra Bond um, <laughs> uh, cement because I need it for my hair so when it rains it doesn't get curly. So those are my three favorite products. But I like the fragrance which is uh, a very new type of fragrance really for a hair product with the spa. With, uh, from the, yeah, with the, from the Ultra Bond, uh, from the um, Bended Hair range. And uh, I find it will go a long way and it's a definitely professional feel to it and uh, a natural, you know, being Swiss, it has sort of that cleanliness to it. Any ideas as far as when you do a show, uh, you know, thoughts for the audience as far as preparation, either selection of models or making sure some of the little things are totally prepared uh, so that you as a performer come off that much, you know, uh, stronger to the audience? You mean if anything goes wrong or something? No, no, as far as preparation, how yeah. from your experience, I know when we were talking the other day, we booking some future shows, yes. your comment was, well, give me an extra day to get there before, yes. just so I, in case any last minute changes, uh, you could... I you think know. you need to calculate mishaps. Correct. I think it is naive 
to think you arrive and everything will go smoothly. Because the way humans are, we all are like this, we have our little problems and things go wrong, there are misunderstandings, there are lack of communications, and you've got to calculate all these things in. And if you calculate these things in, plus be prepared that things could go wrong and be prepared to that all the time. Now, this minute, something could go, the rights could go out. What are you going to do? You know, so you have to at leap and you've got to be natural about it and not panic and just uh, uh, be yourself.